Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC, and in this episode, I will be using Fab Filter Pro Q4 to EQ acoustic guitar. I'll try to EQ using some of the new functions of this plugin, like the Draw EQ and using the Spectral EQ. All right, let's record the guitar. Alright, and we are here in Studio One, and we have here on track number one the pattern I created with the plugin Addictive Drums 2. And you can see my drum set over here. And then track number two is Analog Lab, and you can see the pattern that I created uh, for the different chords just using the paint function over here. And then I recorded my acoustic guitar in tracks three and four that you can see in yellow. So one is pan, pan to the left, the other one is pan to the right. And I recorded my Ibanez acoustic guitar, as you saw, using my Shure SM7DB microphone, which was connected to my Neve 1073 DPX. And it went also through my warm audio WA2A compressor. And Similarly, I recorded the acoustic guitar lick, which is the orange one, track number five. And then I recorded my bass, which was my Ibanez bass using my Fender Rumble amplifier and the Shure SM57 microphone. That one also went to my Neve 1073 DPX uh, pre-amplifier, but no compression at that point. So, uh, let me uh, play everything right now. The guitars have the Five Filter Pro Q4 plugin, however, it is inactive right now. So, um, just for context, let me play a, a little bit and then I will solo the guitar boss and then later solo the acoustic lick uh, track as well. So, here we go. Right, so now let me increase the volume a little bit so that we can hear our acoustic guitar boss right there and we can start tweaking it. Now, Five Filter Pro in that particular instance is on, and what I want to do is I don't want to create something random, I'm going to be very specific. I'm going to start painting around 40 or 50 hertz just to remove any rumbling below that uh, frequency and then I'm gonna lower a little bit about 150 with a narrow Q and then I'm also gonna lower uh, in the 450 so around uh, around here and that's gonna be a uh, less narrow Q than the 150 uh, hertz one and then I'm gonna increase around the 10k maybe between 6 and, and 10 I will see where I'll boost that just for a little bit of air and brightness for the guitar so here it goes
Dang, does I wanna <laughs> does I wanna go down there? I'm trying to paint best as possible. Believe me, it's not that easy to get it exactly where you want. Maybe I just need more practice. Um, not a big fan of the painting job that I did. So instead of battling with that, let's just uh, do it um, exactly where we want it. So basically, we go here, cut right there, and then around 150, mark again, reduce a little bit, just uh, very, very... No, I want this a little bit narrower actually, more or less like this. And then let's go to the 450, which is right here, just to give a little bit of balance to uh, to our acoustic guitar. And then maybe around here, we boost a little bit just to see um, about the brightness okay so let's hear it again and do the proper adjustments <laughs> And because this is um, Pro Q4, then we can go ahead and make this spectral a little bit. Let me pull it up over there, but bring it down over here. Let's make it a uh, fast attack and then kind of slow release. <laughs> nice. Can make this one dynamic so it doesn't get too pokey when I do those big guitar changes on the fretboard. Can make this spectral as well. that sounding there so let me do something I'll be turning off and on uh, the plugin so when it's blue it's on when it is not blue so when it's dark like that then that means it's off let's go Nice. It, it removes a lot of the rumbling coming out of the acoustic guitar hall. So that is really, really nice job controlling all these other frequencies that uh, can be a little bit problematic. These frequencies here that can make muddy the acoustic guitar and this one bringing so much brightness, almost like if it will have a reverb, which it doesn't. All right, and now let's check out the leak over here and I'll solo it and let's do our um, EQ for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
mind, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the draw a queue function. Well, I like the function, but for some reason I have a hard time getting it right. Oh well, I might just need more practice with it. The EQ work great, very transparent and responsive, especially when I activated the spectral EQ. And I didn't even test it, the new characters of warm and subtle styles EQ. But definitely I'll check them out in another video. All right, and that's all for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.